Hey guys, it's Norm. I'm at the NAB Show 2012 at the Canon booth, and I want to show you something cool. I got two cameras in front of me right now. So Nick and I, they're going to look very similar, almost exactly the same. Now what I have right here is a Canon 60D. It's a pretty nice prosumer level camera. Uh, it's been out for a while, 18 megapixels, really good. It does shoot video, 1100 bucks. Now this is the 60D A. It's for astronomers. What Canon has done is remove the IR filter or modified it from the 60D so that you can actually use this to shoot the night sky. You can actually see wavelengths that a normal DSLR cannot see. Now with the modified IR filter, what this camera can see is excited hydrogen gas clouds. Hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe, emits light at a 656 nanometer wavelength. Normal cameras, normal sensors can't see that with a filter. This camera can. So you're going to see gas clouds, nebula, things, really cool space shots that you normally wouldn't be able to take with a normal camera. Of course, you'll need more than just a regular EF lens, a telescope probably. But uh, other than that, nothing really too different from the 60D. What you also have is better noise reduction in high ISOs, up to 12,800 ISO, and a slightly modified LCD viewfinder. But Canon isn't saying exactly how much different that's gonna be. Now, if you want to use this to shoot terrestrial scenes, indoor, outdoor, on Earth, you're gonna need to have a modifier on the lens. Uh, to be able to shoot that because there is no IR filter. Canon also modified the 20D to the 20DA a couple generations ago. That camera sold out really quickly. The 60DA is going to be in limited production. It is on sale now in retailers and partners, so you can pick that up. It's $1,500, $400 more than the 60D, but if you want to take pictures of the night sky, if you're an astronomer or a hobbyist, this might be the camera for you. So that's the Canon 60DA on sale now. It's $1,500, $400 more than the normal 60D, but they are only producing it in limited quantities. You can go check it out if you're an astronomer or just someone who likes to look at the sky, maybe take pictures. I'm Norm, I'll see you guys next time.